Sonali Banerjee. Now we are here with our lecture five video that is on organogenesis in frog. We have already covered blastulation, grastulation in our previous videos. Now we are going to cover this organogenesis process. So organogenesis begins with the formation of notochord. So how this notochord is formed? A rod of mesodermal cells in the most dorsal portion of the embryo will signal the dorsal, uh, dorsal ectodermal cells to make nervous system instead of the uh, epidermis. So here you can see this diagram. In this diagram you can see that normally ectoderm will give rise to epidermis. But here in this part, in the dorsal part, it will give rise to a neural tube because these mesodermal cells will signal these cells to move towards the development of the neural tube instead of the epidermis. Now here also you can see mesodermal cells are present but they are being developing into the blood vessels or other organs. But here notochord is developed by mesodermal cells. So here you can uh, see in the process of rearrangement of cells according to the organ which they are going to develop in the future frog. Now neural tube and the notochord is already formed. Now what happens? They uh, the neighboring uh, the they induce changes to its neighbors and organogenesis continues. How? The neighboring mesodermal cells tissues or cells will give rise to will uh, will be giving rise to neural tube and notochord and they will form a segmented somatis as we have already discussed in our previous diagram that segmented somites were there so uh, these somites are the precursor cells of frog's back muscles spinal vertebrae and dermis dermis means inner portion of the skin and now embryo will continue developing its mouth and anus and it elongates further into the tentpole structure. Now after that uh, it will mature and hatch from its egg. As soon as before hatching the neurons which are attached to the muscles and the neurons which are attached to the other neurons uh, this structure of neural formation will will be there in its development and also there will be a formation of gills and the larva is now ready to hatch from its egg. You can see here this is the larval stage just before hatching. So here you can see the somites are there and they have already uh, given rise to the larval back and the spinal and vertebrae portion and the dermis which will be covering it from the inner side of the larval larva <clears throat> now you can see in the structure clearly that there is a differentiation between the stool uh, stomoderm and the tail bird these two structures are clearly different from each other and they are clearly differentiated at this stage now larva now is ready to feed itself and it can survive in the external environment now in my next class I will going to discuss about the morphogenesis that how this larval stage will continue to develop and will reach its adulthood and will be uh, eligible for the mating purposes. So stay tuned to my lectures and serially follow them so that you can understand them well and also Subscribe my channel, share my videos and put the bell icon so that you can have the notification whenever I upload my videos.